Captain, you have an uncanny talent for complicating my life. You've disrupted the balance of power. You've upset the natural order of things. You've introduced uncertainty, and there is nothing I despise more than uncertainty. Do you imagine you're leading some grand revolutionary army? Those barbarians from Monarch are running wild in my prison. I suppose I have you to thank for this indignity. You're nothing but a rabble-rouser. I'm going to put an end to your little rebellion, and then I'm going to have you and your associates arrested. Hmm. You make a nuanced and compelling argument. Here's my rebuttal. No. Dr. Wells is being held in my custody. His cooperation will prove invaluable, even if I have to beat it out of him. All that's left to do is put down this riot, arrest you, and then get on with the bloody business of saving this colony. Fair enough. I'm giving you exactly one chance to parlay with me. Interesting that you think I'm going to die here. I believe I'm more than capable of taking you on. Fair point. I don't know how you've managed to defy the odds. By every reasonable estimate, you should be dead. Yet here you stand. I've devoted my entire life to protecting Halcyon. I'm not afraid to die in the line of duty. There isn't much of a board left, thanks to you. You've thrown this system into disarray. Cleaning up your mess will be the work of a lifetime. You were always an unknown variable. I tried to recruit you, but you threw your lot in with that madman, Phineas Wells. Rockwell said that. Chairman Rockwell? <sighs> That's absurd. You're lying. This is another one of your tricks. I've been the chairman's most reliable associate. Sophie? That insufferable, arrogant twit. After all I've done for him! I have given the chairman nothing less than a lifetime of loyal, honorable service. And this is how he repays me. By leaving me twisting in the wind. Enough. I'm not going to stand here bickering with you. I was expecting the chairman's support. But I'll have to do without. I haven't given up on the program yet. You've caused some complications, but I can improvise. I can fix this. I haven't lost control of the labyrinth yet. Our security system is still operational. I can still put a stop to you. When you put it that way, no. Not in the least. Damn it all. Very well. You win. I'm familiar enough with your methods to realize my chances of survival are low. Congratulations, Captain. You've outplayed me. I accept your terms and will return Dr. Wells to your care. The fate of the colony is in your hands now. I bid you farewell, Captain.
You don't know how glad I am to see you. You must have said something to get under Akande's skin. She's gone, and I don't think she's coming back. And you, you lunatic, you broke into the board's own fortress just to rescue one doddering old man. You are absolutely out of your mind, and I can't begin to thank you enough. I'm all right, thanks to you. Akande wanted my cooperation. I'm quite sure she would have beaten it out of me if you hadn't arrived. It was widely suspected that Sophia Akande was the true power behind Chairman Rockwell. However, after the riots on Tartarus, she was never again seen in the colony. Various theories circulated as to her fate. Some believed she boarded an interstellar ship capable of journeying to a distant colony. Others believe she died trying to escape Tartarus. Some few suggest she fled to Monarch, where she continued to live among a small band of loyalists. There is another theory, which suggests that Sophia's encounter with you changed her, and she deliberately retreated from public view, but continued supporting the colony in secret. When Dr. Wells began reviving the Hope's colonists, he found himself with a sudden windfall of additional supplies and resources courtesy of an anonymous donor. If Wells knew who his supplier was, he never told a soul.